My interest in aviation started when I was a kid. I loved watching planes fly in the sky and dreamed of becoming a pilot someday. I was fascinated by how they worked and what they could do. But life took me on a different path. I ended up working as an assistant in Hollywood, where I learned a lot of valuable skills that helped me later on. As an assistant, I had to be organized, efficient, resourceful and adaptable. I had to deal with different kinds of people and situations every day. I had to manage multiple tasks and deadlines, and sometimes handle crises and emergencies. I also learned how to network and communicate effectively. I met a lot of influential people in the industry and built relationships with them. I learned how to pitch ideas, negotiate deals, and collaborate with others. I learned how to be creative and innovative, and how to think outside the box. All these skills came in handy when I decided to pursue my passion for aviation. I realized that I could use my experience and connections in Hollywood to start my own aviation company. I wanted to create a company that would offer high-quality services and products to the aviation market. A company that would combine my love for flying with my entrepreneurial spirit. That's how I went from Hollywood's assistant to CEO of my own aviation company. It was not an easy journey, but it was worth it. And I'm here to share with you how I did it. The aviation industry is one of the most dynamic and competitive sectors in the world. It offers many opportunities for innovation, growth, and success, but it also comes with many challenges and risks. In this section, I will share with you how I faced some of these challenges and opportunities in the aviation industry and what motivated me to start my own company. One of the biggest challenges in the aviation industry is the high cost of fuel, which can make flying very expensive and affect the profitability of airlines. To overcome this challenge, I had to find ways to reduce fuel consumption and optimize flight operations. I invested in more fuel-efficient aircraft, implemented advanced flight planning software, and adopted best practices for fuel management. These measures helped me save millions of dollars in fuel costs and improve my environmental performance. Another challenge in the aviation industry is the ever-changing security regulations, which can make travel difficult and inconvenient for passengers and crew. To cope with this challenge, I had to ensure that my company complied with all the relevant security standards and protocols. I also had to train my staff on how to handle security situations and emergencies. I invested in security equipment and technology, such as biometric scanners, facial recognition systems, and baggage screening machines. These measures helped me enhance security and safety for my customers and employees. Despite these challenges, there are many opportunities in aviation that I was able to seize and capitalize on. One of these opportunities was the growing demand for air travel, especially in emerging markets. To tap into this opportunity, I expanded my network and routes to cover more destinations and regions. I also diversified my product offerings and services to cater to different segments and preferences of travelers. I offered low-cost fares, premium cabins, loyalty programs, in-flight entertainment, and more. These measures helped me attract more customers and increase my market share. Another opportunity in aviation that I pursued was the development of new technologies and innovations that can transform the industry. To take advantage of this opportunity, I partnered with leading research institutions and companies to explore new solutions and ideas for aviation. I also invested in research and development projects that focused on improving aircraft performance, efficiency, safety, and sustainability. Some of the projects that I supported included electric propulsion systems, supersonic flight, autonomous flight, and space tourism. These projects helped me stay ahead of the curve and create value for my company. What motivated me to start my own company was my passion for aviation and my vision for the future. I wanted to create a company that would not only provide excellent service and value to customers but also contribute to the advancement and improvement of the industry. I wanted to create a company that would be a leader in innovation, quality, safety, and sustainability. 
I wanted to create a company that would make a positive impact on society and the environment. That's how I went from being a Hollywood assistant to being a CEO of my own aviation company. It was not an easy journey, but it was a rewarding one. I learned a lot from my experiences and challenges in the aviation industry, and I'm proud of what I have achieved so far. But I'm not done yet. There are still more opportunities and challenges ahead, and I'm ready to face them with confidence and determination. After working as an assistant in Hollywood for several years, I decided to pursue my passion for aviation and start my own company. I had always been fascinated by the aerospace industry and its potential to transform the world. I wanted to create a company that would offer innovative solutions for commercial and defense aviation, as well as contribute to the advancement of science and technology. To achieve this vision, I knew I needed a strong team of talented and dedicated people who shared my passion and values. I started by hiring some former colleagues and friends who had experience in various aspects of the aviation business, such as engineering, marketing, finance, and operations. I also reached out to some of the industry leaders and experts who had inspired me over the years, such as John Slattery, the executive vice president and chief commercial officer of GE Aerospace, and B. Mark Allen, the president and CEO of Boeing. I was fortunate enough to convince them to join my advisory board and provide me with valuable guidance and insights. Together, we developed a clear strategy for our company, based on three core principles, innovation, excellence, and customer satisfaction. We focused on developing cutting-edge products and services that would meet the current and future needs of our clients, as well as differentiate us from our competitors. We invested heavily in research and development, as well as in acquiring state-of-the-art equipment and facilities. We also established a culture of excellence and continuous improvement, where we encouraged our employees to learn new skills, challenge themselves, and strive for excellence. Finally, we made customer satisfaction our top priority, by listening to their feedback, understanding their requirements, and delivering on our promises. Our efforts paid off, as we quickly gained recognition and reputation in the aviation market. We secured contracts with some of the leading airlines and defense agencies in the world, as well as with some of the most prestigious research institutions and universities. We also received several awards and accolades for our achievements in innovation, quality, and performance. Some of our notable projects include, designing and manufacturing a new generation of jet engines that are more fuel efficient, reliable, and environmentally friendly than ever before. Developing and launching a series of satellites that provide high-speed internet access to remote areas of the world. Creating and testing a prototype of a supersonic passenger plane that can fly faster than the speed of sound without producing a sonic boom. Partnering with NASA to support their missions to the Moon and Mars. Our goals for the future are even more ambitious. We aim to become one of the leading aerospace companies in the world, not only in terms of revenue and market share, but also in terms of impact and influence. We want to make a positive difference in the world by advancing the frontiers of aviation and space exploration, as well as by contributing to social and environmental causes. We believe that aviation is not only a business, but also a passion, a mission, and a responsibility. That's how I went from Hollywood's assistant to CEO of my own aviation company. It was not an easy journey, but it was definitely worth it. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Thank you for watching.